Noob noob. What did Mario say to Luigi? Nintendo, give me a better fucking system. You know what really grinds Noob Noob's gears? It's the Nintendo Switch. Apparently grinds them right into the ground because there's a new one and baiting and switching me. They're just they're they're tricking you. What are they doing? They Noob put Noob? a little tiny worm on a hook and shoved it right up my booty hole. <laughs> and then pulled. But they announced an amazing Nintendo Switch Olaf edition the with OLED. a vibrant six seven inch. Olaf screen. Yes. Organic light eighth. emitting Olafs <laughs> and coming to a electronic store near you October 8th for $350. $350? Yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah, you might be asking yourself, why is it more expensive than a regular Nintendo Switch? Well, because you're getting an OLED screen. That's Not an Olaf screen? Point eight inches bigger. But it's white. I thought it was Olaf. It is. It's, are, is Nintendo trying to say something here? Is whiter, brighter? Oh my god, no. Nope, they're not saying that? I hope not. Nintendo is not white supremes. They're saying crisp and vivid colors. They are, but they're very white colors. Nah, they're not that. Well. I don't know. It looks yeah. more like a penguin. You're basically paying $50 more than a old console than uh, just for an OLED screen, and you get double the storage. I mean, I guess that's good, sure. You don't have to go out and buy a fucking internal storage or something like Even that. If you're buying a brand new one, then how many games could you possibly have stored on there anyway? True. Yeah, I, I mean, they, it's been this Switch came out in 2017, so it's four years into its life cycle. There has been no internal upgrades to this system. Like, it's a little ridiculous. But it brings, it has a carrying case and screen protector. It, so does my Switch, which is I bought four years ago. What do you mean? That's, that has but nothing to do... But it launches the same day as October 8th, the same day as Metroid Dread. Yay. You can play that on Nintendo Switch Lite for $199. Oh. Or you can play it on Nintendo Switch for $299. So you can save yourself $50 or $150, $150. depending on how you play. <laughs> There's How all, hard do you play? If you play all on portable, then why would you not just get the portable version for $150 less? If you play docking it to your TV where the OLED screen has no bearing whatsoever, why docking wouldn't you it. save $50 and then buy the regular one? And if you're just buying it just to buy it, then you're an idiot and you're helping <laughs> Nintendo get away with not upgrading their console in four years. I mean, they didn't announce this at E3. They were very stingy about what they announced at E3. It was only games, correct? Yeah, well, they, they went out of their way to say there was going to be no hardware announcements. And then so. two weeks later, they're like, ha ha, hardware. Yeah, because everyone on E3 would have gotten on their ass for releasing such a stupid ass model. Oh, so they would have just eaten up their, uh, eating that ass up? Oh, yeah, they would have went bait. They would have sw- Switched out those anal glands for some Hemis. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I just don't understand. First off, Nintendo missed the ball here. Hopefully they save this name for an actual upgrade. But this was dubbed before anyone knew what it was. The Nintendo Switch Pro. Stupid name. You could have done Super Nintendo Switch. Perfect marketing, perfect campaign. You could have had a limited edition color uh, scheme with the Super Nintendo. Because it would have been super. Would have sold itself. Could have came packaged with, I don't know, some maybe some Super Nintendo games or Drop something. Drop that big package. Literally, you could have sold it for $400. People would have bought that shit. Then that would have made it worth it. Nintendo is dumb. Instead, they're literally not spending... Or cheap. They're dumb and cheap. They're deep. They're, they're cheap. They're deep. deep on the deep. Or deep, cheap. cheap on the deep. Either way, do not buy this. Please do not support Nintendo being douches just for an OLED screen. And it's even more stupid because they're coming out with a new flagship game. Probably the best Nintendo Switch game, which is four years ago, is still Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 2, Legend of Zelda, by the way, is coming out. I forget exactly when, but within the next year, let's say. And it could have been on a nice upgraded internal spec system with 4K, 60 frames per second. Would have been fantastic. But instead, they're like, you know what it's going to do? It's going to look a tad bit brighter. A tiny bit And you're going to give us more money for that. Thanks. Hmm. But also, the battery is probably going to suck or something. There's going to be some caveat. There's going to be something. I I think when we... uh, Thank you to CNN for letting us the know CNN. everything we need to know. Hugest news story ever. The hugest meet OLED. So much O, so much lead. So dumb. 
It went, so they went from a set from a six point two inch screen to uh-huh. a seven inch screen. Big change. It, it'll help you sleep better at night. It will. Is that what you're saying? That point eight inches makes all the difference. It really hits you in the right spots. It still carries the same seven twenty p resolution. Yup. So while the <laughs> the colors may pop a bit more, you won't necessarily notice a finer level of detail. It will literally just be like you turn the brightness settings up. Congratulations. Yeah. Like, duh, fuck. It's annoying. It does have, I mean, this is crucial, a wider adjustable kickstand that Thank spans God the entire that. back of the system. Thank, you know what I really need in my life? A kickstand to help prop my Switch <laughs> I up. I mean, it says the, the, the previous one was kind of small and somewhat flimsy. Did yours, has yours ever broken in the three uh, years you've owned it? I, I will give you that. It is flimsy as hell. Yeah, but has it broken? Um, Maybe it's durable. Not, not broken, but it, it's... It's busted. It's not sturdy. I'll give you that. Mm. Yeah. And it has a built-in Ethernet port for those who want to use online So why gaming. would you plug in? So you're saying you could literally plug in your tiny switch versus actually playing a real system. You could. Why would you do that? I don't know. That sounds kind of stupid. It's a little more than just stupid. You get, you do get 74 gigs versus 64 gigs. Se- 64. Yes. 749. Learn to read, please. 694,000 gigs. I need more. Like, if you gave me a Wayfair closet for 350 bucks, then I'd be game, but not this. <laughs> I want a little more bang for my buck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just a little more bang. A little more bang. Is it physically bigger? No. It looks like in it's this image same, here, it yeah, looks physically the, bigger. It's the same thing. Wow. Yup. So, t- Nintendo, full of disappointment. Full of dicks. Just so sad. You should not do this. Don't support Nintendo. You shouldn't Nintendo. have done this to us, Nintendo. Support Sony, because they're better. Well, what's their portable gaming system? I don't, the Vita that stopped being made like 17 <laughs> years ago. Just, oh, so they don't Just buy a PS5. Support them. Support so them. So they can come out with a PS6 even quicker. We, <laughs> if we need more games. We can't review any games. Doesn't matter. PS10. Or so to the he moon. can stream his... <laughs> To the moon. Stream his games on his Twitch with three people. Take PlayStation to the moon. So, excellent. Yes. So anyway, if you like what you heard today, make sure you catch our 7.30 Eastern Standard live sc- stream. Live scream. Because Noob Noob will be screaming for ice cream. I will. Obviously. That's uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. And you can also catch us, uh, our full-length podcast. You can catch that Anywhere you find podcasts, except for apparently Audible, which we haven't done that yet. Nope. But anywhere else, Google Play, Stitcher, uh, iTunes. Yeah, just Spotify. Like, like and subscribe. And for every like and subscribe, it will go towards my fun to get light emitting diodes implanted into my butt cheeks. <laughs> so everyone already knows when they're back on that. You see up. the golden. Will you have it as a gold color or as a as a. I'm going to have the each cheek's going to be the red and the blue. So one's going to be blue, one's going to be red, and you can play with my Switch joysticks. So red to go in, B, back away. B- a blue to blow it up. <laughs> so blow it up that ass. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for listening. We uh, greatly appreciate it. And from all of us here at OrQ, we're on to the next one. Wow.